Hello friends. Today I am going to teach you how to make circular designs or can say mandala designs in just 5 minutes. Let's say we need to make this reference design. So let's start. I have used pen tool to trace one motifs of each shapes. Now open a new page. With the help of line tool, draw a perpendicular straight line. Make a copy of this line on top of it. For that, go to edit, copy it, then click paste in front. In short, control C and then control F. Rotate the top layer line by 90 degree. While rotating, click shift to stop exactly at 90 degree. At this stage we need to decide the total number of circular repeated pattern. So I will go back to the previous page to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. There are total 8 circular repeat. Now I will open the calculator. Since the one complete circle is of 360 degree, I will divide 360 by 8 count. The result is 45. So the angle is 45 degree and count is 8. Now open layer. You can also open layer from window and layers. Select both the lines. Then carefully click the small circle here. Now go to effect. Distort and transform. And then transform. I will add 45 degree in the angle and I will add 8 in the count. Press OK. You will find 8 divided areas with the lines. To test it, draw any shape in between the line. Multiple copies of that shape in circular area will be created. Rotate and move the position to check. Perfect. So now, let's use the original motif. Go to the previous page and copy and paste one motif in this new artboard. Rotate or scale if needed to arrange the design. Now copy the second motif from the previous page and paste here. Arrange it in right angle related to the center of the line. Now copy and paste the last motif from the previous page in this artboard. Arrange it again to set the angle. Now we just need one circle in the center. You can also manually create easy shapes directly in the artboard. You can also use Alt and Drag to make copies of any basic shapes.
looks perfect. So now I hope you will be able to create circular design with few elements only within few minutes. This design is in effect mode. The final step is to expand all the motifs created in the circle. For that, go to Object and click Expand Appearance. Now you will be able to select any shape from anywhere in this artwork. Since we do not need the lines, you can use Direct Selection tool to select the lines and delete it. So our final artwork is ready. You can also create a seamless pattern swatch using this artwork. If you do not know how to create seamless pattern swatch, go to the previous video of this channel playlist and watch the seamless pattern tutorial. For your reference, I have also added this file as a link in the bottom of the video description. In the next video I will teach you another method to create circular artwork. So kindly, like and subscribe this channel, so you can get notified when the next video is published. Thank you.